Welcome back to River City Live. Carrie Wilson of Carrie Wilson Makeup is with us right now. And Carrie talks to us about beauty mm -hmm. often. And when you think of makeup, you think of beauty from the outside. That's right. But you're very big on beauty from the inside out and empowerment for women. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we're going to talk about your new line mm -hmm. and why you've chosen these colors and what's trending. But at the same time, we want to talk about the empowerment aspect of your new line in that you've named each of these products mm -hmm. to kind of get the spark going, That's the right. thought process flying. So tell, tell us a little bit about that. So last September, I launched my first I Am campaign to speak to yourself in empowering words, right? And this time, it's a little bit different. There's a twist on it. So remember when you were younger, you may have been labeled as certain things. Uh, a lot of times as women were labeled as being bossy or being vulnerable, being outspoken, being curious, being rebellious. And we take those things, they have a little bit of a negative connotation to them, sure. right? But when you get older, you realize that they're a strength to you. That it's great to be outspoken because it means that you're standing up and speaking up for what you believe in, right? Maybe you uh, were labeled as a rebel, but in fact, you're following your own rules, just not someone else's. Mm -hmm. um, and bossy is one of those, too. I think a lot of little girls are called bossy. Not little boys so much, but little mm -hmm. girls, right? Mm -hmm. But a lot of these girls end up being great leaders. And so I think we really need to think about those things in our head and those little words that come to us and think, is it really a negative or is it a positive? So let's talk about these products. And yes. as we're looking at them, tell us about the names. Is, okay. is the name, does the name correlate to the color? Not necessarily. I mean, um, okay. I just chose Rebellious for the eye palette because I think, you know, you got a little rebel color in here, something that maybe you would look at and go, oh, would I really wear that peach? But it's actually beautiful. Um, speaking of peaches, you'll see a lot of shimmers and peaches and soft colors um, with a little metallic finish for the season. Um, but this is a very wearable palette, which I love. When I say wearable, I mean lots of different skin tones, different age groups, and different people that have different makeup styles really enjoy this palette. Okay, palette is maybe one of my all-time favorite words. I love, <laughs> I love a good palette. Right. Everybody, everybody who loves makeup loves a good palette. <laughs> okay, I've interrupted you enough. No, I love that. And then I came out with a cream blush because oftentimes during the summer, the girls that have the tan or the freckles or maybe have a little bit drier of a skin tone, um, and you don't have to have a dry skin to wear a cream blush, but this just gives the skin such a nice glow. It looks really bright. This is actually bossy, of course. Oh, Touch okay. It. I just want to try. Oh, yeah, that's kind nice. of like a gel, right? Yes. And then when you apply it to the cheek, it's very, very easy to blend. A lot and of people think it would be hard to blend. Translucent. Exactly. It's <gasps> see-through. Yes. So you're just getting this nice flush of color that you would just pop on the apple of the cheek up into the hairline. And again, very wearable. And the cool thing is, and we were talking about this earlier with our grandmothers, they used to wear cream blush, yes, right? Yes, they did. My, my, my grandmother's blush came in a little tiny tube, mm -hmm. and then you would just... Really rub it in. And well, again. and and so basically, you can use these on the lips too. Because I was telling you, my yeah. grandmother used to dot yeah. some lipstick on her cheeks, and kind of, uh, she probably still does it, and and uh, brush it in. So basically, you can pop these on the lips and the cheeks, which I think is so great for the summertime or the spring. Throw in your purse, and you've got cheek and lip all there in one. Absolutely. And I love I love that you've taken words like you said from the get go. You've taken words that could have a negative connotation and one that we didn't get back around to was vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So we, we know vulnerable can mean that you're very sensitive, but what is a strength way to look at that word? So when you're vulnerable, it actually means you're strong enough to allow yourself to be you and you're also strong enough to allow your friends to be them. So you're accepting other people for who they are and you're accepting yourself for who you are as well. Okay. So, um, but I was often called sensitive when I was younger and it's actually not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing and I, I, I to this day, have been, just today I wanna say somebody said, well, you know, you're, you're a cancer so you're sensitive. You know, my sign, zodiac sign. So I, I, I do think that that can be a definite positive. So. Let's tell people where they can learn more mm -hmm. and also find this line of makeup, which is your own, and you've chosen all of these very, very intentionally. Yes. So, CarrieWilsonMakeup.com, I'm assuming? That's right. Okay, very good, Thank Carrie. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back.